This is a review of the K2 Trio 110. The positives. The K2 Trio 110 comes with magnificent 110 millimeter 90A hardness wheels with ILQ9 bearings that are silky smooth. And that's the most positive thing I have to say about them. The size 12 boot fits tight. Toes and outer side of the forefoot are rubbing a little bit. That being said, I feel like these boots will break in, but the 2022 K2 skates do fit tight. K2 skates of old, like the VO2S100, fit large. Size 12 and the K2 Trio 110, too small. Similar boot to the K2 LT100 with one really important difference. There is only Velcro to do up the ankles. Why? Why is there no ratchet strap on these? I have no idea. Now with three super burly Velcro straps, you can get a decent fit, but I did find even with tight boots that my ankles are rising in these. Compounding that is just a regular lace system, no boa on this. For a $350 skate, this is like K2's pro model, a pro model from K2, no boa, no ratchet. Just shoelaces and three Velcro straps. So these are classified as a fitness skate. On any fitness skate, it's essential to fit these things properly. Now, arguably you can get a good fitment in this setup, but it takes forever. You gotta pull super hard on the laces to get the ankle tight, and then you gotta crank all three of these Velcro straps over as hard as you can. It's just a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass to put them on, and it's a pain in the ass to take them off. So you're starting every skate with a hassle and ending every skate with a hassle. And this might seem like a trivial thing to some some people, oh, it takes an extra couple minutes to put your skates on, but it's annoying. It's annoying because you can't get the same feeling, fit, and tightness at the start of every skate. There's just screwing around. It drives me bananas. And I think after skating a long time, you'll find the same thing. They are $80 more than the K2 Trio LT100. So which skate would I buy for the money? Hands down, the LT100. If you are going with a K2 model this year, a K2 three-wheeled skate that is readily available, 100% go with the LT100. Even though that's not the best skate I've ever skated from K2. It is for $80 less than this. You're getting the same skate with a ratchet strap and ability to do it up even better. It's essentially the same skate with wheels that are 10 millimeters smaller that you'll hardly even notice that. One thing you will notice with the K2 Trio 110 is they are super heavy. We'll zero our scale, put in a third wheel. It's the macro blade. 1,000, 1,763 grams for the macro blade 100 with 110 millimeter wheels on it. Brake skate. We got the K2 Trio weighing in at 2,126 grams for the K2 Trio 110. 363 grams heavier than the Macroblade 100 with 110 millimeter K2 wheels on them. So if I was looking for a readily available three wheel setup with 100 to 110 millimeter wheels, I would choose the Macroblade 100, the 320 bucks, and I would put 110 millimeter wheels on them. 363 grams per skate is significant. That means you're saving over half a kilogram of weight between your two feet. And you're gonna notice that. If you're gonna notice that, if you're skating for longer than 20 kilometers, there's a significant weight difference in these boots. I don't know what there is to account for this weight difference, but right away, here's one thing you will see too. The macro blade, you can cinch these laces up super fast, super easy. Just pull, slide, and then ratchet. Done. With these, it's tying them up. It's fussing around with the cuff. It's cranking the three Velcros over and then tying them up again and trying to get it to the perfect tightness. And it's just a hassle. So first impressions on the first skate, how do they feel? They're fast. They're fun, but they are heavy. It is a bit of a chore, especially skating uphill in these, which for a three-wheel skate, I have not experienced that before. I have not experienced a heavy three-wheel skate. These feel almost as heavy as the K2 Mod 110. So final verdict, if you're thinking about the K2 110, I would pass. I would honestly pass in favor of the LT100, which has a better buckle system. In all honesty, I would pass on the LT100 as well, and I would get a set of Macroblade 100 3WDs because they're more comfortable. Right out of the box, the size 12 fits like a size 12. There's no break-in necessary. You can skate 20 to 40K in them, your very first skate. The stock wheels that come on the Macroblade are crappy, the Supreme wheels do suck. I recommend replacing them. If you're any kind of serious skater, you're replacing wheels often anyway. So burn off the Supremes and then chuck on a set of 110 millimeter wheels. You'll have a more comfortable, lighter, easier to do up skate than the K2 Trio 110 or the K2 Trio LT 100. As always, let me know in the comments if your opinion differs. I know some people are always gonna chime in and say, I have these skates, I love them, I use them all the time, they're great, and that's awesome. They will work. All I'm saying is, is there are better options. These are decent skates, they're not horrible, but there are better options. That's it for this review. Hope you found it useful. Thanks a lot for watching.